What's up, you guys? This is Karmic Endings, TNTN, 10, 10, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of. Or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors, and my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel. This current karmic energy for the collective, please give me clear and accurate messages. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings, the donations. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me and the channel. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support that you show. I appreciate you so, so much. For real, for real, for real. Alright, so let's get into it, y'all. See what's up. What's the message of spirit for the current karmic energy what's the message what's the message all right some about a thief okay so there's a thief getting getting some unexpected income or there is a thief that's in despair about some unexpected income that they was expecting to receive from overseas i just heard or yeah this wealthy man Okay, so for some of y'all, this could be somebody that's in despair about some money that they was expecting to get overseas. Okay, so this person could be like, um, like in despair, or this could be somebody that, um, they got caught up for making like a drug transaction. Like this could be somebody that drove out of town to make some kind of drug transaction and they got caught up. Some do a 24, 27, 32, 36. This could also be a warning for somebody that's coming up. So just only take a resonate, leave the rest. What's going on with this energy spirit? Let's get into it. This current energy with this thief, unexpected income, despair, and distant horizons. All right. Five of Wands. Hell yeah, somebody mad as hell. Something to do with a Leo. Yeah, moon car was like this. It wanted to turn around, so I'm going to turn it. Okay, then we have chariot. What else? Secrets has been revealed. Somebody was working with the authorities. Undercover. What? Devil the world. Hell yeah. Y'all heard that confirmation from my phone? Damn! Somebody came together with a thief? I mean, somebody came together with a with the undercover person? Something to do with a Leo, Pisces, Cancer, or Capricorn. Damn! Or this could have been a sheriff. This could have been like a sheriff or somebody that works for the police force that was doing some underhanded shit and they got caught up. Okay? And this person could have thought that they was working with somebody that was going to help them uh, get some shit popping. But this person could be about to, you know, this, damn, this could be a whole sheriff or police, police person that's into this shit. Damn. Hell yeah. <laughs> damn. Six of swords. Somebody was trying to run away. Hell yeah. They was trying to run away. And they got caught up. They was trying to steal some shit and got caught up. Damn. Some Damn, that's fucked up. Yo. Damn. All right, let's keep going. Something with November 21st, November 15th, November 7th, November 24th, November 27th. Could be significant. July 15th, July 21st, July 11th. All right. Clarify this uh, five of wands. Nine of wands. Sun card. Whoever this current karmic energy is, that's 
in despair about this. I am seeing that this person is in some conflict about who they had, who they thought that was helping them. The person that they thought that had their back or was in their corner wasn't. This person, somebody could have been working with somebody undercover to get somebody caught up. Okay? Clarify the moon card in the reverse. Yep. For a lot of money. Yep. But they're keeping this a secret though. High Priestess. So, this could be a situation where... Shit, this could even be somebody fucking with somebody that they thought that they trusted, whether this was romantic or not. But it's like somebody could have came together with somebody and they thought that this person was going to help them get something or they, they didn't think that this person would betray them. Meanwhile, this person was in the background and set and set some plot up to get somebody like caught up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This this could be like really like an officer, like for real. Okay. Clarify the chariot. Clarify the chariot. This could be an officer. King of Cups. Yep. Queen of Swords. This could have been somebody partner that they had. Like if this is like some kind of share for something like that, this could have been a partner that they that they was working with. Yeah, they could have been working with this partner. And I'm hearing for some of them, the plan was for them to help them get the money and then they was going to kill whoever this was anyway. Now, this officer or sheriff or whoever this is, they could have had a uh, family or something like that. All right, I heard Stephanie or Stefan. Or Steven. Okay. Clarify the devil. Clarify this devil. Page of Pentacles. Lovers. I'm telling you. This was something, the idea that somebody came up with. For somebody to come together with them and do. They're like, yeah, let's come together and work on this shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what somebody was, is, was getting somebody to do. Like, Leah, let's come together. Let's work on this shit. Yeah. But this was a betrayal, you know, that somebody was planning. The world card. Clarify the world. Three of Pentacles. This going to be shown on some kind of platform. Yep, Seven of Pentacles, Five of Swords. I'm hearing somebody is going to look back and see who was really involved when it came to some kind of murder or when it came to some kind of, um, somebody could have stole some evidence or stole a lot of money. And somebody is like getting information on this stolen money and stuff or something like that. Clarify Justice. Two of Pentacles, and then we got the sun. Whoever this person is, they trying to hide. This could have been a person that, um, if this person did get caught up, this person was being watched when it came to like their accounts and their money and how they was transfer shit in and out and how they was moving shit around. Something to do with a Libra or Capricorn. So somebody been getting watched for a minute. Okay. They been getting watched for a minute. So if this is somebody where it's like they was waiting on somebody to come through from overseas and it did not come through. And this person started blaming people that they worked with. Like, why is this money didn't come through yet? And somebody could realize that, you know, they partnered up with the wrong person. Yeah, they realizing that they partnered up with the wrong person. And that this has something to do with somebody going out of town uh, to do some kind of drug transaction. I am seeing that somebody, you know, could be working with somebody undercover and they don't know. 
or this person is like you know playing undercover with like working with the like the police force like they working with the cops undercover and while you out making your little drug transaction you gonna get caught the fuck up because somebody is setting you up that you love so much for somebody somebody is getting set up by somebody that they fuck with that they partnering up with okay so the signs we have out let's see strong leo strong uh capricorn strong cancer strong virgo too we got aquarius libra okay taurus only take what resonate and lead the rest current energy current energy all right yeah materialistic is in the reverse because this is not good for somebody I'm telling you, somebody is being tracked right now. Okay? So, that's what I'm saying. Somebody may get caught up while they're on their way or something like that somewhere. And somebody feel like that somebody, that like they not being watched, but they are being watched. Somebody is being watched, but they don't feel like they are or something like that. Okay? Some of do the Sagittarius could be significant. We have the letter E could be, you know, somebody E, letter E. Y'all, so not all cops is bad. Every time I run into like a uh, an authority, it's never bad, okay? I've gotten pulled over the other day. I got pulled over twice in less than 20 minutes, 15, 10 minutes. Like I was in an area that I don't usually be in. And I got pulled over twice. The first time he was following me uh, for a minute. And then when I made a right turn, I got over into like the um, bicycle lane. And I made the turn and I wasn't supposed to, but I wasn't aware I wasn't supposed to, but I had did it. And so he pulled me over and um, he said, oh, you were doing so good. And I'm like, what happened? I'm like looking like, oh, I was? <laughs> And he's like, you turned in the bicycle lane. Are you aware that you're not supposed to do that? And I'm like, no. And he's like, yeah, you know, you actually can get jail time. I can give you a ticket and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, how's your driving record? I said, it's really, really good. Would you like to see it? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And my friend was like, you know, in the car or whatever. So I pulled out, you know, my license or whatever. And he's like, do you have your registration and stuff? I'm like, yeah, but, you know, I got to look for it in my glove compartment because I don't get pulled over, you know, like that. I'm not like a person that get pulled over. So <laughs> I'm like, you know, you just got to give me a minute, but I, I'll get it. And he said, don't worry about it. I'll just check your license. So he went to go check my license, came back and said, oh, well, I'm going to just give you a warning. Um, Just, you know, just remember not to do that. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, he gonna give me a pound like this. Like, I, like we good? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, whatever. So <laughs> that was the first situation. The second situation was I was uh doing some errands. And I had my car parked. I know it was parked the wrong way, you know, on the road, but I had it parked the wrong way because I was just going in for a quick two seconds. It wasn't long and I was coming back out. So the cops came and they was like, hey, hey, you know, you're, you know, you are parked a different way. I, you know, I can give you a ticket for that. Why are you over here and all this other stuff? So I was telling them and they were like, oh, okay, well, I said, well, I'm about to leave right now. And he's like, oh, okay, well. Go ahead on and turn your car around and I'll just give you a warning. But next time, if I see this car like this, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, okay. 
And this was less than like 15 minutes, yo, on both times. I mean, neither one, I got a ticket. I ain't get no ticket or nothing like that. But it was just a fact. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, every time I do run into a cop, it's not a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? It's never like a bad thing, but it's just like, damn, why you got to fuck with me? Leave me alone. Like, <laughs> So it's just like every time I run into a cop, it's never bad. But, you know, not all cops are bad or, you know, that want to do shit to you and shit. I mean, I actually ran into like, I've ran into authorities where they've actually like helped me in situations, like actually like assisted me uh, in situations and stuff like that. So not all people of authority, you know, is bad. You know, you have your bad ones, but... Not all of them is bad, you know. But <laughs> I'm like, damn. I, I was like, literally, the person that was in the car with me, I'm like, what the fuck? It was like, literally, like, too, like, I'm like, damn, are you bad luck? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, it's literally, like, I've been in this area less than, like, you know, two like less than 10 minutes and i'm like 10 minutes and 15 minutes and i'm getting like pulled over like what the fuck and <laughs> i mean i've been around this friend before i don't think it had nothing to do with the the person though i was with but it was just like funny i'm like is you bad luck what the fuck like <laughs> like what the hell what is this boy shorts but you know how people be trying to do spell work, trying to get you caught up in shit. I mean, listen, I don't have bad run-ins with the authorities, yo. <laughs> I do not. I don't have bad run-ins. So. Current energy. So we have M. Could be significant for somebody. Somebody could be real thick. Secret society. Braids or locks. Actress, actor. A succubus energy. So for some of y'all, there could be a succubus energy. Um, That somebody, they gonna be in despair about with this person. Five, five to six feet. Love and or romantic movies. C. We have I, I heard Claire, something with Claire, rap artist, high class, Jordans or expensive shoes, cotton panties. We have tongue piercing, sleeve tattoo, T, colored eyes, TV series, mechanic. Capricorn, truck, something to do with CDL, okay? Some with Richard, I heard Richard, lace and or silk panties. Somebody could love wearing lip color on their lips. E, something to do with Erica, braces. Somebody could have a trainer or be a trainee. Vietnamese, Chinese, Japanese, and or Korean. Something to do with a cancer could be significant. Something with Chris, okay? Chris, I just heard somewhere. Chris, I heard Terry or Tia as well. Pharmacist or pharmaceuticals. R. Something about an RV. N. Beer. Something to do with a beer. Somebody can have small feet. We got pregnant. Social media platform. Suspense movies. Black socks, construction worker. We have E. Smoke cigars. Somebody can have a big butt. Okay. All right. I heard Victoria, something with Vicky, Victoria. Something about a river. Okay. 
So something about a river. The whole spelling is out here for a river. So something about a river could be significant. Somebody name. This could be even somebody name. But something to do with a river. Somebody could stay by a river. Something about a river. Okay? Could be significant. Something about a recreation center. Somebody could take their kids to a recreation center or something like that. Something with ivy. Ivy. Okay. Something with 17 or 71. Something with a Capricorn or a Cancer. Something with January 1st, January 2nd. Or could be 2nd. January 7th. January 15th, January 21st, January 11th, July 11th, July 21st, July 15th, July 17th. All right. Something with Arena. Something with Renee. That's crazy. Something with Rich. I mean, even though the H isn't out here, I see something with rich, okay? Or something with Mitch. I heard Mitch as well. And something with E.T. could be significant. Something to do with E.T., All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. Like, comment, and subscribe. Look in the description box below for any other information about me. And until next time, peace.